Green cardamom. It's one of the priciest spices in the world. Just a single kilogram can fetch up to $90. But why is green cardamom so expensive? What makes this small, fragrant pod so valuable? And why is it so difficult to grow? To understand this, we need to dive into the meticulous process of cultivating, harvesting, and processing green cardamom, a spice rightly called the queen of spices. Green cardamom is celebrated for its unique flavor profile, a blend of citrusy, sweet, and slightly spicy notes that make it an essential ingredient in dishes worldwide. The spice comes from small, oval-shaped pods that encase tiny black seeds. These seeds are where the magic happens, delivering that unmistakable aroma and taste. Cardamom grows in select regions around the world, but it thrives best in India's Iduki district. This area, with its unique climate and soil conditions, has been the heart of green cardamom production for decades. Farmers like Raja's family have cultivated this spice for over 30 years, passing down knowledge from one generation to the next. The journey of green cardamom from farm to table is anything but easy. Once the seeds are planted, farmers must wait an astonishing three years for the plants to mature. Even then, the yield is low. On average, a single plant produces only about 10 pods, just enough to make 1.5 teaspoons of ground cardamom. Adding to the challenge, green cardamom requires precise weather conditions to flourish. Too much rain can cause the pods to rot, while too little can scorch the plants under the sun. This delicate balance makes the crop highly dependent on favorable weather, which is becoming increasingly unpredictable due to climate change. Additionally, maintaining cardamom farms requires significant investments in fertilizers, irrigation, and labor. Farmers face the constant threat of pests and diseases, which can devastate crops and further reduce yields. For small-scale farmers, these challenges make growing green cardamom a risky endeavor. Harvesting green cardamom is a labor-intensive process that demands both skill and patience. Workers undergo six months of training to learn how to identify ripe pods. It's a skill that takes time to master, as picking pods too early or too late can ruin their quality. The harvest period lasts from July to February, giving workers several months to collect the pods. However, not all pods ripen at the same time. This means workers must revisit the same plants multiple times, carefully picking only the pods that are ready. For every kilogram of dried green cardamom, harvesters must collect six kilograms of raw pods by hand. Each plant is handled with care, as even a slight mishandling can damage the pods. Farmers often work long hours in humid conditions, navigating steep, terraced plantations. Despite their efforts, the yield remains modest, with only a fraction of the pods meeting the stringent quality standards required for premium grade cardamom. The work doesn't end once the pods are picked. To preserve their signature green color and potent flavor, the pods must be dried within 24 hours of harvesting. This drying process takes about 18 hours and is crucial for maintaining the spice's quality. Any delay can lead to decay and a loss of flavor, rendering the pods unsellable.
Drying involves carefully controlled heat and airflow to ensure the pods retain their vibrant green hue. The green color not only enhances the spice's visual appeal, but also plays a significant role in determining its market value. After drying, the pods are sorted and graded. Workers carefully separate the larger, greener pods from the smaller, discolored ones. The best quality pods are destined for premium markets, while lower grade pods are sold as ground cardamom. Pods that show any signs of rot or discoloration are rejected altogether. This meticulous sorting process ensures that only the finest pods reach consumers, but it also contributes to the high cost of production. Green cardamom is graded based on size, weight, and color. The most highly valued pods are larger, greener, and packed with seeds. These premium grade pods can sell for over $90 per kilogram. On the other hand, lower grade cardamom, which is often used for grinding, sells for as little as $12 per kilogram. The pricing also depends on market demand and supply dynamics. In recent years, the global demand for green cardamom has surged, driven by its growing popularity in gourmet cuisine and alternative medicine. However, supply has struggled to keep pace due to the challenges of cultivation and the impact of climate change. For small farmers, the economics of growing cardamom can be tough. Production costs, including fertilizer and labor, eat into their profits. Raja, a farmer in the Aduki district, spends about $200 per acre on fertilizer alone. Despite the high retail price of cardamom, small-scale farmers often struggle to make ends meet, especially when their harvest yields are low. Many rely on government subsidies or cooperative initiatives to stay afloat. In recent years, the global supply of green cardamom has faced significant challenges due to the climate crisis. In the Aduki district, which accounts for roughly three quarters of India's green cardamom production, unpredictable weather has wreaked havoc on crops. Excessive rains have caused pods to rot, while drought conditions have scorched plants. These challenges have led to reduced yields, driving up prices in global markets. However, the increased prices don't necessarily benefit small farmers. Many struggle to produce enough to turn a profit, and most of the earnings go toward covering production costs. The future of cardamom farming looks uncertain. As climate change continues to disrupt traditional weather patterns, farmers must adapt by investing in more resilient farming techniques. These include planting drought-resistant varieties, improving irrigation systems, and adopting organic farming practices. While these measures offer hope, they also require significant financial resources, which many small-scale farmers lack. Despite these challenges, green cardamom remains a prized spice. Its unique flavor makes it indispensable in both sweet and savory dishes. From curries and desserts to teas and perfumes, the uses of cardamom are as varied as they are luxurious. This versatility, combined with its labor-intensive production process, ensures its place as one of the world's most sought-after spices. Cardamom's cultural significance also adds to its value. In India, it is a staple in traditional medicine and religious rituals. Globally, it is a symbol of luxury and refinement, featured in high-end products and gourmet recipes. The spice's ability to elevate dishes with just a small pinch underscores its status as the queen of spices. From the years it takes to grow, to the painstaking work of harvesting and processing, green cardamom's journey is a testament to its value. But as climate change continues to disrupt its production, will this coveted spice become even rarer and more expensive? Only time will tell, but one thing is certain. Green cardamom will always hold its title as the queen of spices, cherished by chefs, connoisseurs, and farmers alike. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, please subscribe to our channel and give this video a like.